Metrical tutorial and review. Is it the best social media management tool? Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can get started with social media management using Metrical. Metrical is a platform that allows you to manage your businesses on social media and have everything all in one place, especially considering all the data we have now regarding how we can popularize our posts, reels, and videos, and how we can schedule all of those all in one platform. Metrical allows you to do all that and much more, so let's jump right in without wasting any more time. Now, the first thing you're going to note about Metrical is that they have a free plan. Now, in the free version of Metrical, you will also see that you have creation of one link in bio through SmartLink. So what this allows you to do is basically what you find on Linktree, where you basically can create a singular link that has all of your shopping links, all of your social media links, and you can create one of those. Then you also can utilize their AI assistant, get access to analytics, as well as planning up to 50 pieces of content per month. Now, this is a slight limitation. Usually it does not bother me because I don't have more than 50 posts a month, but the thing to note with this is that if you have more than 50 pieces of content across all of your social media posts, then you will have to upgrade to either a starter plan or a advanced plan. Now with the starter plan, it starts at $18 a month. You have uh, unlimited management of all of your social media accounts, plus you can plan upwards of 2000 pieces of content. And then the advanced plan has a higher limit. Now let's get started with creating our account on Metricool. To do that, the first step you're gonna do is go on to metricool.com then click on sign up here on the top right. Once you do that, you're going to enter your email address. And once you enter your email address, you're going to type in a suitable password for your account. Then once you do that, you're going to check these two boxes and click on let's go. Now, once you do that, you will find a email will be sent to you. And once you are sent a email, you're going to be able to find it in your mailbox and you're just going to confirm your email address with Metricool. We're going to click on verify email address to verify our address like so. And once we do that, this will be able to connect our account and create our account. Now, once your account has been activated, the next step is to fill out these prompt questions. And I'm just gonna be using this as a individual and I want to program and publish my content. After that, it will give you a few different options. So this is the most important step where you have to connect your social media accounts. So I want to connect my Instagram account over here and I will do that. So I'm going to connect to my Facebook account and then link it to my Instagram account as well. So we're going to do that and it's really simple. All you have to do is fill in these prompts. You guys can see we have different Facebook pages. So I want to go with Facebook and I am going to go with Emelyn Designs. Now, once we do that, there isn't a page for this, but we are going to disconnect this particular Facebook account and we're going to choose a separate one. I think we should go with something like this one. And after that, I, you guys can see it is not currently linked to a Facebook page. You guys can see I can't connect my Instagram account because it's a private account. But after that, we also can connect a YouTube channel, TikTok business, a TikTok account or Twitter. We're going to click on YouTube over here and we're going to choose to connect our YouTube account like this and make sure to choose the email address that has your YouTube account. So just like that, it is connecting. Our YouTube is now connected and our Facebook is connected. And now I'm just going to click on finish. Now, Instagram is currently running into some errors because our Facebook and Instagram account are separate, but you can always redirect uh, your Instagram account and link it to your Facebook page. Now, to get started with planning your content, you can click on planning on the top. And once you do that, you will see the current day will be highlighted. Now, if you scroll down, you will see different times and you can move towards the next section like this. Then on the top, you will also see best times that will be displayed and you will also be able to turn on the percentage of active followers. Then you also can view your content in the form of a list and a auto list. You can create an auto list of posts and set the days and hours you want them to be published. This is basically where you bulk upload your content and it will automatically be assigned to dates. 
Now, on the top left, you have analytics. These include information about your growth, such as your followers, impressions, visits, and total count, the balance of your likes, so how many you have recently been getting, the total content you have, and the lost likes. Then your posts viewed in a period, your demographic info, such as age and gender. So you are going to better able to target your audience because this will help you in understanding is your content more oriented for female audiences? What, what would be the age ranges? So you can make further content that aligns with those values and those perspectives. You will also see your clicks on pages and the posts published. Now, a lot of you might wonder, hey, how are they acquiring this data? Well, with Facebook, Instagram, threads twitter all those platforms you do actually have access to all of this data but the issue with the access to this data is you're not going to be able to easily read it facebook gives you access to all these analytics to all this detail but they're not able to present it in a way that would be easy for you to navigate through and for you to actually work upon and using Metrical can make it easier for you to use these data points and then expand upon your content. Then if you go into inbox, you will see any of the DMs that you are getting on Facebook or YouTube. You can filter them out by either or any one of your platforms. You guys can see we have this little simple uh, question that we were asked on our Facebook page. Now, if you go into your content planning to get started with actually planning your content, all you have to do is click on create post on the top left and you can start creating your Facebook post. Your Facebook posts can also include multimedia by simply clicking on add media on the bottom left. You can add emoticons, comments, locations, URL, text generators as, as well. Now, if you are uncertain, you can always just save a post and draft it and then save it on for later without scheduling it for an upload. Now, after that, you will see a panel called Smart Links on the top. Those Smart Links allow you to basically create a one, a singular link that leads to all of your social medias. You can click on create your first Smart Link and you will see the name you want to display. Let's say this is Lily Davis and the link I want to use is Lily Davis. Then after that, we have our button text that we might want to use, which might be something like our my YouTube channel like this and we can enter the url over here then after that we can add maybe like our amazon shop link and more then on the top right you will see your brand so you can customize your brand obviously uh, but with this you would have to upgrade to the pro version of metricool but still using this as an individual to manage your social medias as well as a, a social media site of a small business can be super helpful so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe